I've got to take this jacket off. Now, I'm on vacation, and I figured when this little vacation I put my cell phone was over with, I was going to hit people with like 30 videos. Because I'm editing right now, and I'm editing about 20, 30 videos. Sci-fi, your video, I found it. I'm going to somehow put that on the sister sci-fi channel. And that way you can see it, and somehow I can see if I can put it in some other form and send it to you. Now let's get to business. Sir, say, 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 fuck a lot, whatever his name is. Now, fuck a lot, men have had uh, one or two clashes, and then we have came to a agreement. Ow! I don't know what the hell your deal is with fuck a lot, but um, I know his stance on the situation. I truly believe he's not a closet racist. I believe that he has quote unquote blacks around him. You can hear it in his hold on, this dog is in the back room. See the office back here? Now, why are you still in here messing with Christmas? Get your ass. Come on, get out of here. Get, get your ass out of here, bro. Get out of here. Okay, I just had to kick him out of my wife's office. My office is located outside in the studio I'm working on, which is 75% done. But my wife bought me a projector, so I sort of want to turn my studio into a theater now. Mixed up, confused. Let me get back on point. Sir says, say, uh, fuck a lot. Mr. Fuck a lot. He is a racist. Closet racist, outdoor racist, whatever. He's a racist, but he has black influences. If you can't see the black influences in his voice, listen to how he speaks. Listen to the music he listens to. Now, the man has issues, but I truly believe when you call somebody a racist or say they hate blacks, you have to look at things differently, man. There's different levels of that shit. There can be a guy who don't like the way black people are perceived. In other words, this is all he sees is ignified, stupid ass black people. So therefore, all he can comment on is what he sees. If this is the group of people he sees fucking up, then that's all he's going to think is a bad person. White people don't see crime. I'm going to explain what I mean. When white people do some bad shit, it's either outrageous or under the radar. In other words, they either raping, murdering, or some outrageous decapitation type shit, or, like you said, white collar crimes where Scooter Libby gets off. Enron, shit like that. They fucked over the world. Not all white people, but those in position of power. So, Mr. Fuck a Lot is a product of that. In other words, Fuck a lot is a broke ass white person who was trained and taught to hate black people. Not by like, hey, put on this green out army outfit, run through the goddamn wilderness with a fucking gun and shoot at black dolls all the goddamn time and black mannequins and shit. No, they were systematically trained. Look at what he got. You don't have that. You're poor. But people fail to realize poor black people and poor white people are separated by what? technology. A poor black person is going to try to have everything a rich person has. A poor white person, on the other hand, is going to try to survive. They have no time for all that extra bullshit. They don't need Walkmans and, and Walkmans. I dated my I'm so fucked. They don't need iPods, Xboxes, fucking PlayStation 3s, fucking cars with big spinners. Poor white people need to fucking eat. They ain't got no time for the motherfucking bullshit games trying to look as if they have something else. Poor black people have been taught to act their entire life. People have taught us to act like we fucking happy when we're not happy at all. Oh, I'm satisfied with what you gave me, master. And that's the fucking bullshit fucking attitude poor black people have. We try to keep up with the fucking Joneses and the Joneses can't even keep up with the Smithses. You know what I'm saying? But, J. Ryder for I'm on hiatus, man, and you send me some fucking video like this, and you mentioned Dave of J. Let me hit Dave of J right now. I want to be honest with you right now. Dave of J offered me a motherfucking job when nobody else did. 
Dave of J offered me an opportunity to make money on a record label that hasn't been comprised yet. Dave of J offered to work with me on several different projects in which we've already started to. Dave of J, the same, I guess you want to call him a closet racist too, offered me, a black man, money. I'm not selling out to Dave of J, but he's offering me a way to better myself. Only a handful of blacks on YouTube put forth any effort to offer me anything. Thus, I need not say anything more about Dave of J. Once we finished on the projects that we're working on, we're going to work on a couple album projects, and then we're moving on. I don't know. I was also offered to work on the little Dave of J movie. But now whatever the case may be between you and all these other people on YouTube and you and me on YouTube, as far as I'm concerned, I'm the grandfather of the young people on YouTube because I don't want to see us say anything that might bite us in the ass later. So when it comes to certain people on YouTube, you, Father Judgment, Sexy Sci-Fi, uh, shit, Boss Francis Coppola, the Sergeant Willie P, Black Diabolique, Soul and Black, and I can keep on going on and on and on and on and on and on about all this group of people that I consider family. And all of you guys are in the same group. So how in the fuck do I feel when one family member is talking about another family member? How do I feel like the grandfather? Gonna sit down and talk to everybody at the same time, regardless if they get the message or not. I want the one message that I want to come through to come through is we are united. I don't give a fuck who this guy is, who that guy is, who that guy is, who that guy is. If you on my fucking team, we're the United Nations up on this fucking YouTube. We handle our business methodically, logically, and respectably. All of us. You, them, and everybody else. And sorry, sorry. <coughs> as far as Sir fuck a lot goes, or say his fuck a lot, he fucks a lot, whatever the fuck he do. As far as he is, no matter what he does, he will always be what he is. A white guy surrounded around, surrounded with black people. He is surrounded by black people. And half of these people probably show him no respect. Why? Because in the community he comes from, they haven't showed any of those black people in the community any respect either. Therefore, he is in a flux. I can show these guys respect and get no respect from these guys. Or I show these guys no respect and I can live through my neighborhood. What I did when I was faced with that situation as a kid is I didn't show nobody respect. And all of those who hated those others all knew that in my presence there was one group of people. And I called that group of people us. Yes, us. What do the initials us represent? That's all. But as far as, sorry, I said it again. But as far as all the other things that you mentioned in this video, there are so many closet racists on YouTube, it's pitiful. You can say nigga one day and say, oh, that black man the next day. Come here. Here, boy. Romeo, here. Come here. Come here. Come here. What are you barking for? Thank you, sir. See? This animal depends on human beings to take care of it. Human beings are mere animals. And most of us are praying to some mythological god to come down and rescue us from tyranny. But remember this, people out there. If there is a god, and when that god materializes himself to show himself, that god is not going to respect anybody that does not respect all of his creatures. You may hate this black guy, this black guy may hate this white guy, but in the end, it's humanity that suffers. I'm going back on vacation, and I promise to hit you guys with so many fucking videos when I get back. You'll be like, damn, we've been tubed.